Today's video is sponsored by Pickers Grip. Stop dropped picks and pick rotation while playing with Pickers Grip. Made with all natural ingredients in Virginia. Check out their website to order. When you support my sponsor, this also supports my channel and it's very much appreciated. If a deaf kid swears, does his mom wash his hands with soap? That makes sense.
welcome to you. I'm Robert. Thank you so much for taking the time to check out my video today on the Chapman ML1 Traditional V2 guitar. I hope you enjoyed the track that you just heard. It was all recorded uh, with this very guitar, uh, recorded and inspired by, I should say. If you've been hanging out on my live streams, which, by the way, we do live streams on this channel every Saturday, uh, every Saturday afternoon around one o'clock Eastern time. Uh, one o'clock ish Eastern time, uh, heavy on the ish, <laughs> you know, I've mentioned a few times here recently that I really need a good strat style guitar, you know, a good solid three single coil style guitar. Cause I don't have one, you know, I really, and really I've never had one. Uh, I've always been a humbucker guy, but you know, I've, uh, I really, really like single coils for some things and I've never had, I've got humbucker guitars that will coil, you know, that will coil split and yet you know get definitely in the ballpark of that sound but nothing that is just a de just dedicated to uh the strat style single coil sound enter the chapman ml1 traditional v2 i will get to the v2 here a bit later in this video uh because it is very important a uh, quick rundown of some of the main features of this guitar they, uh, you know, this is actually an ash body with an ash veneer top. And uh, the reason why they went with an ash veneer top over an already ash body is just because, you know, they wanted the, the grain, as you can see here, you know, to really, really pop out. Uh, and, and it really, really does make a difference. So, uh, along with a natural binding. Kind of a Wilkinson style tremolo. I really, really like this tremolo, actually. Nice and tight and uh, uh, really, really firm. You know, simple two knob design, volume and tone, five way pickup selector switch. Uh, three single coil pickups here. The uh, These are a Chapman proprietary pickup, which are actually sound really, really good. Alnico 5 magnets, uh, what they call the Venus, Venus Witch Zero pickups, kind of a. Uh, uh, a nod to uh, Jimi Hendrix is my understanding. Maple neck, maple fretboard, nine and a half inch radius, 25 and a half inch scale, 22 jumbo frets, die cast tuners on it. Uh, you know, very, very similar to a Godot's or, or something like that. You know, might even be made by Godot. Uh, you know, and I believe a good old fashioned bone nut. And I really, really like this guitar. Let's do a quick playthrough here with this just so we can kind of get an idea of the different, uh, what you know, how each of the different pickups sound. Uh, I'm using my PV Windsor head set to a pretty clean setting going into a two notes uh, torpedo live uh, set on, uh, you know, set on a, you know, like a, a fender, you know, a blonde fender cab uh, vintage type of setting. So let's hear how they sound. <laughs> Still using the same amp, of course, but uh, here I cranked up the gain and changed the cab to uh, a uh, vintage 30, you know, like a Marshall vintage 30 412 style, uh, style cabinet, so we can hear what some rock sounds sound like through it. <laughs> Last but not least, same settings as before, but with the gain backed off uh, quite a bit for you know, a little bit more of a like a bluesy type of sound. <laughs> Thank you. 
So there you go. As I mentioned earlier in the video, I've been looking for you know a Strat style guitar. You know, I was not necessarily married to getting you know married to a Fender. I was definitely open to other brands. Uh, you know, I looked at several other brands like GNL. You know, I had to rule those out though because the tone woods that they use uh, for the bodies don't you know weren't what I was looking for. Uh, you know, I checked out you know some of the, like some of the import Fenders. Uh, some of the other, you know, some of the smaller, lesser known brands. And eventually, you know, this Chapman landed on my radar and it is exactly what I wanted because it's, again, it's a three single coil Strat style guitar. And, you know, Chapman Fender, if you guys see this video and you're, uh, you get upset that I keep, you know, mentioning Strat, I'm sorry, but, you know, let's face it, that's what it is. So I was looking for something that would provide that kind of tone for me, again, with the three single core pickups and the five-way switch. You know, the cool thing about about uh, this particular Chapman is it's a, it's a much more modern take on the Fender Strat. You know, it's not a, you know, carved top. It's actually pretty flat, you know, sharp corners all the way around. Uh, again, with the veneer top, you know, that Wilkinson style bridge, uh, I really like. Uh, I think it's a Wilkinson style anyway. Sure looks like it. One of the best features about this guitar is the rolled edges on the fretboard, uh, which leads me into the V2 portion of the name of this guitar. Uh, the V2, what that I did some research on it, and uh, according to Rob Chapman himself, what that signifies is uh, Chapman have actually changed factories where they're may having their guitars built. Uh, apparently, the old factory there was some consistency issues, which uh, you know have been pretty well reported. Hats off to Chapman, by the way, for owning up to that and doing something about it. So they moved their production to a factory in uh, Indonesia. Uh, yeah, Indonesia. And they are coming out, uh, their guitars are coming out of that factory much, much more consistently. I have bought two Chapmans this year so far. This being the second one and the first one, both of them have been absolutely flawless right out of the box. Now this one here, I will admit that I, that I bought an open box model and Whatever yahoo that had it before me didn't know what they were doing when it came to setting up a guitar because, you know, the bridge was all out of whack. The string, you know, had strings on way too heavy and it, it needed some adjustments, some setup work. But uh, I was able to take care of that easily enough myself uh, without any other kinds of hangups. But once I got it completely set up with my string set of choice on it uh, and uh, all the other appropriate adjustments made, there's absolutely nothing wrong with this guitar i can't find one finished flaw on it anywhere uh and you know it was again i was looking for a strat style guitar in a fairly affordable range this thing runs 4.99 which is right in the price range that i wanted to spend uh because this is not going to be an everyday guitar for me you know this is exactly what i was looking for so thank you very much chapman guitars uh this being my second go around with you guys i am now a fan Links to the Chapman ML1 Traditional V2 down in the description, uh, as well as any other pertinent links to all the other gear used in this video. Please don't forget to hit the likey, sharey, subscribey thing there at the end. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video.